Okay, so three weeks ago, I received a comment from Fairy Dust, who asked if I could make a carne asada torta video. Well, since you asked nicely, Fairy Dust, here you go. To get started, I'll be using one pound of beef skirt, and it is whole, so I am going to be chopping it up and marinating it. And I know, those of you that want it to be whole and grilled and, and you want to cut it after it's grilled, yeah, sure, that's all fine and dandy, but it's actually convenient for me to cut it first and then marinate it. But I will leave one piece whole so you can see how that goes. And I'm basically going to marinate it with one orange, half of a large lemon, some onion powder, garlic powder, cracked black pepper, and some soy sauce. I will leave all the measurements in the description box below, as always. <laughs> Okay, so I have combined my marinade with my meat. I have covered it with cling wrap, and now I am going to marinate it overnight. Okay, let's make some tortas. So here I have some fresh baked torta rolls or pan bolillo, and you can use any bread that comes in a roll if you can't get a hold of Mexican pan bolillo. And here is my meat. It has marinated overnight, and here's that big piece. I'll also be cooking that today, but I'm just going to take some out to make one torta with the chopped meat and one with the whole steak that I marinated, just to give you guys two different variations, two ways to make tortas. And today I will be using my nonstick griddle. You could use any pan that you find convenient to cook with. You can do it on the stove top. But the way I'm going to do it today is I'm going to try to set up a mock grill the way you would get it at a taqueria or a food truck, which is how they have just everything going on a flat surface. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm also going to be grilling some jalapeno, some onion, and I want to mention that I will be setting the temperature to my grill in between 400 and 375. You might need to adjust it depending if you're using a, a griddle, um, but that is a good place to start when setting your temperature, when you're preheating it. So I'm not going to talk anymore until we get towards the end. So by all means, enjoy all the nice grilling and sizzling sounds.
Okay, so all of my chopped meat is done, and now it's time to build my first torta, and this one's going to be mine for later. So my chopped meat is done, and I'm just going to place it onto my toasted pan bolillo that I have split open, by the way. You obviously knew that when I started toasting it. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add my grilled onion, but first let me give this a flip. Actually, let me add some cheese. And this is actually some white American cheese. You probably want to use something like a quesadilla cheese or some Monterey Jack cheese, but I think I'm gonna go with this today. So now I'm going to top this with those delicious grilled onions. Next, I'm going to top it with some fresh avocado, then some tomato, some cracked black pepper possibly, and some lettuce. And that will be it for my torta. And then next we'll move on to the second one. Okay. Now my torta is done, and I can't tell you, I'm so ready to eat this thing. But I'm going to show you another way you can make tortas, and the toppings vary. It's really up to what you prefer. So here's one last look at my torta before I have to go make the other one. I'll be with you soon. Okay, so on the stove top, here I was toasting some buttered pan bolillo, and this time I'm going to use some refried beans. Okay, so I'm going to move this wonderful torta to the side, and I'm going to show you the piece of meat that I left kind of in a, a big chunk, like a steak-sized piece of meat, and I'm just going to slice it up. And I cooked it pretty much to a medium rare. You can cook it to well or however you like it, but again, this is just a different way to serve a torta. And actually, this torta is going to be my husband's because this is the way he likes it. Now let's make the next torta, and this one is going to be just as good. I'm going to take the bottom half of my pan bolillo, the one that I toasted on the stovetop in a pan, and I'm going to slather it with refried beans. Okay, so I also received another comment about a month ago asking if I would be interested in doing a mukbang. And then another lovely commenter asked for me to come out in the video. She'd like to see my smiling face occasionally. Well, here you go. Here I am in all of my crazy hair, don't care, no makeup on, and lack of sleep mama here to do a mukbang for you. And guess what? I don't mind at all because I'm hungry. It's lunchtime. And it is so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm.
years. Mm. You want to bite? Yes. I'll take a bite. <clears throat> you guys really should make your own homemade tortas. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Last bite. It's the best bite. <laughs> mm. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, you can click on the video icons for more recipes. Or you can click on my picture icon to subscribe. Thanks for watching.